All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Woo, woo, woo. Listen to me. Run. Run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do one more time. Is Radio BAM? Fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It's Radio BAM. And now, and now here's BAM. Here's BAM. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, basically, fuck yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. I got Novak here, Chad I. Ginsburg, yep. Missy, the Moxie, Buddy Bo, Franz, and uh, oh, Big Kevin needs to take a headset right now <laughs> because he's here with little Kevin, <laughs> Uncle Kev, who just got out of jail after two years. What? Say what's up. What's up? Hey, how long? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> how long were you uh, in jail for, and why? Two years. And why? What'd you do? Assault. On who? A uh, security guard. Why? 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 Yeah. Because I was drunk and... He didn't taste good. I need salt. He pissed salt. me off. We got in an argument. About what? He he hit me first, so... I was basically just defending myself, but... <laughs> security guards can do whatever they want to, and they don't go to jail. You do. Motherfucker. Was this in Virginia Beach? Yeah. So, Kevin, big Kevin... His father. ...goes to pick him up, and w what happened what over there, Kev? What happened to me was I had a little pug, and pugs are small dogs, and mine's extra small for a pug. <laughs> and the guards are hiring me, no dogs allowed. And so I start taking the dog back to my car, and they're still screaming and hollering like I'm a total piece of shit asshole. <laughs> and after about five steps walking back to my car, I turn around and scream at him, I heard you! <laughs> <laughs> and then what? So I gave the dog the old lady she put in the car. I was walking up to ask a question about what do I do to get, where do I go to get meet my son to get out? I don't know if he had to go through the gate or what. But then I walked back up to ask my question again. <laughs> they wouldn't let me answer. They're sitting there running their mouths, dogging me. What are you crazy? You give me no dog here. <laughs> running their mouths. And then next thing I know, three more security guards, the K9 force they call them, come running up. And this one the canine real, force? They must have had drugs one, on you. The, the one big guy, he had a little bull ring in his nose. He he come at me <laughs> like a street a dog. He's real big and all. He, and he wanted to get all cocky with me, trying to threaten me. He's all up in my face. What do you think you're bad? What do you think you take me? And I said, you do look a little overweight. I might be able to. You know, I talked to them. I talked to them like they were talking to me. You Mistake know? number one, ladies and gentlemen. I know, but they should be professional about it. <laughs> So why should I be? <laughs> so, so, uh, so, how did you wind up arrested then? Well, they well, they badgered me my whole way back to the car, I'm sitting there talking shit, cursing at me, and and, and then they told me to get in the car, get in the car. And they said, get out of the car. I said, you just told me to get in. I said, I ain't getting out. Cops can never make their fucking minds up. Well, these are prison problem. guards. These are nine dollar hour prison guards. Here we're talking about. <laughs> they're you know they're angry at the world. They're only making nine dollars an hour, so they want to have their fun, and fuck with people. So anyway, they started trying to pry me out, and they couldn't get me out. And then, then the one person <laughs> had me by the leg, and he's banging it on the door and trying to twist it. So the all all, you get arrested as Kevy gets out of jail. One what son goes in, one father goes out. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, to, didn't you? Uh, didn't you realize why? Like, God Con damn. Conjar just arrived. Hey, oh, hey front muscle man himself. Can, can they clear yeah. this bag so they can sit down? Oh, and he brought Crown Bro. Royal, my fucking angel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like Not angels. <laughs> you can move that right over here. Mandy, the can you pass me that? Fucking mayhem in here. I know, it is. It's crazy. So you need yeah. friends like this to bring parting yes. gifts like yeah. Crown Royal. April ham. Thanks. It's more like mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I just closed it on my yeah. fucking thumb. June salami. What the fuck are you doing over here, man? Franz is goddamn airy. Franz, like. why are you bringing all this faggot ass shit with you? I don't know. What's what are you deal? doing? Let's talk about a radio show here. We're doing right. one, right? Yeah. All right, let's talk about it. Oh, man. Novak, <laughs> you look sober today, and every time I see you lately. That's a good Yeah, to, man. It's good to know. I'm going nowhere but up from here, buddy. And well, it I is St. Patrick's Day, too, right? Yeah. I heard the Pope said that uh, he doesn't want it on Saturday, so they made it Monday. You got to no, be... No, no, it's the opposite. They didn't want it today, so they made it Saturday. Saturday. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> That's going to change in Ireland, I'm sure. 
<laughs> you you got to be pretty powerful to change a holiday. So, little Kevin, is it is it hard to not fight people when you know you could just knock them out in one punch? And you're on parole. <laughs> because I did go to Wawa at Glen Mills, and they go, yo, you cousins with Kevin Marjo? I go, yeah. He got in a fight last night with two dudes. I'm like, well, did he win? Knocked them both out in one punch. <laughs> I was like, all right. I'm, Shit, if I could do that, I'd be punching people, yo, too. I really don't even like to fight like that. But well, How do you like to fight? Sometimes when people just fucking get on my last nerve, <laughs> I can't. I can't control myself after that. I get to a certain point. Any fights in jail? Yeah. Tell us about the fight in jail. You told me about the one after you got out of the shower. Talk about that one. How quick are you oh. in jail before you have to fight there? This fucking 500-pound fucking dude, he snuck me when I got out of the shower. That was it, though. What Pretty. was the reason? Yeah, we got in an argument. Over what? Because uh, he was he was always running his mouth and shit right off, outside of my cell. So right. I'm like, yo, keep all the noise down. Out front of my fucking cell, go over there with that shit. Yeah. And he starts running his mouth. I said, all right, hold on a minute. And I start fucking, I'm drying my feet off. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> and I turn around, he fucking hit me. I fell over, and then he fucking, he like stood over me and shit, so I couldn't get up. And then a couple of my buddies ran in there, and they're like, let him get up. He was like, no, then he's going to hit me. And then the fucking That's cops, the point of a fucking fight. <laughs> you get hit, dipshits. <laughs> I, didn't get, I didn't get none in on that Sword. one, but that's all right. He knew, he knew you could have beat him. That's why dude, I didn't want you to hit him. The dude was 500 pounds, like probably more than that. How and long he was, didn't even hit hard. He hit like a bitch. What kind of <laughs> what kind of time was he doing? Oh, I don't know. But you big big cornbread. Big Kevin has a temper as well. He he went to the army in Germany, and uh, <laughs> did you ever kill anybody? Here's the best part: some girl fell into a river it, in the in, in the middle of the night, and he jumps in to save her. He's in the newspaper what? being a hero. A week later. What? The uh, sergeant says, drop down and give me ten pussy. He goes, I'm a fucking pussy, you're a pussy. And then he beats, beats him up. What what, ha what happened over there, Kevin? God, I can't see anybody. You got that story <laughs> twisted a little bit. Tell me all about it, because Phil it, tells me. It wasn't me. a woman. I saved that. I was over here at uh, one of them beer fests they have in every town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a friend of mine that flew over to a plane with me, he was 6'5 and some. And all night long, all these Germans were coming up to him. All spitting and he said, like, oh, you're so big, and you know, and he got fed up with one. He grabbed him and threw him around like a midget and threw him into the river, and he took off. And I felt bad for the guy because I, and I jumped in the river and pulled him back. That's out. cool. And then they tried to interrogate me to see if I'd know him. I said, I didn't know. I was back there puking, and I seen it happen. So how how did you get kicked out of uh, the army? Uh, because I was married and I had a lot of. They put me on restriction. I was an MP unit. And they were trying to dog me pretty bad, and it just. What's ended. MP unit? What's that's that? That's military mean? police. So what happened? I was a mechanic for the MPs, and that's uh, where it all went downhill. Well, well, how did you tell me why you got kicked out, and and what happened over, in the courtroom? Over, uh, like, the, the, I was on restriction. I wasn't allowed to leave the barracks all the time, and I snapped out on the first sergeant one time. He put his arm up on me, to, like not to let me leave, and I pushed him aside and kept on going. Let you know, and they. they they said, face a court martial or sign the paper for a dishonorable discharge. So I signed the paper. I would have did that too. If exactly. Motherfucking right. <laughs> I'm not waking up at 5 in the morning to give you faggots 100 push-ups. Suck my dick. Uh, yeah, I would have been in military jail if I would have faced the court martial. Me remember when you were a Little League coach and you were arguing with the other coach who was safe and who was who was out, and then you threw him over the fence? <laughs> <laughs> I heard about that story. And he was like was a, a six-foot-tall biker, and he had a twin brother with him. It was a bad call. <laughs> You weren't letting that shit go down, were you? Hell no. Look at you. you There's all these moms and shit, like, hanging around, and, and dads, and they're arguing. Like, not like, he was safe, he was at, no, he's fucking safe, motherfucker, I'll beat your ass right now. <laughs> was your son playing for the team that you were arguing for? I was the coach. Oh, fucking right, your son's always safe. And my son was safe. And was he really safe? dust cleared, and, and my son's foot was on home plate, and the guy wasn't even touching, the, touching him yet, and the up called him out. And the, after the dust cleared, the, you could see it all like came to a freeze frame. The guy wasn't even touching my son's foot on the base, and the guy called him out. And we were winning by a whole lot. <laughs> so the one lady, what the hell's your problem? I know, you're, you're kicking winning. their ass anyway. I said, I don't give a shit. Kick their ass all the way. Like father, like son. <laughs> he, got, he got in a fight right on the Schuylkill Expressway. Recently? Like, like probably was five like, years ago. He was, I was picking up at the train station. I was in, ju out I was in juvenile placement. Like juvenile jail. I was getting off the scoot on this and one right truck right on the highway. Pass him. And you know, I woke over on the grass to pass, and then we come to the stop. Next thing I know, he's coming at my car. So I open my door, and he's right on top of me. 
So I just drove him back into his truck, and it got broken up. Nothing major happened. But he could have had... His whole forehead was leaking blood. <laughs> that's got not his major truck. to Kev. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't get, him, get to hit him that much. He should have had me. I was in the seated position when he was on top of me. And I drove him back, and he looked like a muscular guy, too. But he didn't have it, evidently. Did he have a firm ass? <laughs> I didn't check that out. He was in shorts, though. Kev, Kev, do you still have a problem with your neighbors? Yeah. Well, well, what's the deal? (laughs) Didn't you go to jail because of them, too? Yeah. (laughs) Cops are on their side, too. You got the song without the name? The way I snap out, I'm always wrong. (laughs) <laughs> no, the I'm neighbor sorry. was mowing there's, the lawn. There was four of them. He's out in the front lawn going, ee, and they call the police. And he's like, the police come over. They're like, what's the problem? He's like, I'm trying to peacefully mow my lawn, and my neighbor's sitting there going, ee, and stuff. And he's like, is there a problem with saying ee? <laughs> I tried to told him. <laughs> well, technically, there is no law against going ee, but we have to take you in anyway. They'll make a new one for that. <laughs> They'll make a law for you any day, Kev. Didn't, you, Kev didn't you write a song about your neighbors? Yeah, it's a little Let's, ditty about there we go. Based on a true story. Let's hear it. <laughs> now, Joey Snellers had crack pipe all day. He lost his house and family, so they put him away. Marty Smellers, he's a local fag. Eats his mother's pussy, and she's a nasty hag. Sally Smellers, she's a local whore. You should see her pussy, looks like it was in a war. Stevie Smellers, he has a set of tits. Marty really likes them, he fucks them where he shits. <laughs> Joshua Smellers, he is Joey's son. I wish he'd come on over so I can have some fun. Officer Conte, he's a local cop. I wish he'd come on over, cause he I'd like to drop. Teddy McGrath, he's a local pig. I wish he'd come on over, cause his grave I will dig. Can you hear me now, Marty? <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. Oh, man. All right. We're taking a break right now. This is uh, straight out of Berkeley, Tiger Army, Radio Bam, Series 28 Faction. Yeah, you did. Faction, baby. I guess. All right, wow. dipshits, that was Tiger Army, Forever Fades Away, Radio Bam Series 28 Faction, yeah, and man. and uh, I'm opening up a, a bar in the middle of April in Westchester on Market Matlack called Filthy Note, and Novak wants a job at the bar real bad, so... I'm going to be the manager. I told him that he had to get into a kayak, and I had to push him off of a cliff in the Brandywine, and it is March, so it's, it's basically freezing. <laughs> And I got my fucking girlfriend here, fiance, girlfriend, whatever I feel like calling her at the time. So did you tell him that you didn't (laughs) get the job anyway? I give the bitch one job, to bring two towels. And what the fuck does she not do? Bring two towels. Go figure. So did you tell him that you didn't get the job anyway? Uh, uh, I just, just like uh, the wedding. Well, well you know what? Best man? I did forget oh, to tell him. I, I forgot to tell Donnie if it's okay or not. Fuck no, it's all right. I already signed my contract. He gave me a personal chauffeur to and from. It was I'll gnarly, just, though, dude. Like, so a kayak. It, fall, even board. going in bonds. the river right now is, is insane. It was, it was horrible. And then he made me ride in the back with the uh, kayaks all the way home because I couldn't get his nice Hummer wet. We got it. Right. We actually have a, a clip right now of, of you going in. Let's hear it. Uh, the one of the, the prison push. What's yeah, that? The, Kevy's prison push. Yeah, the guy who just did two years pushed me right, in down this it. big ass hill. <laughs> Any last words? I just want a job at the goddamn bar. Now give me a prison push, Kevy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, that's pretty much when I was overturned. What the fuck's a prison push, Kevin? I don't know, oh. he's got all kinds of prison muscles. Uh, it got, sounds a little you different. You got two dudes fucking on your ass. You're uh. taking a fucking shower. What's the story you got? <laughs> he's yeah, got hearts on his ass. Do you have the aftermath? Oh, yeah. When he's in the water? Freezing my All miserable? Outside, so imagine the temperature of this water. That I'm completely covered in right now. Freezing. 
And my worthless ass bitch up there didn't give me no towels. <laughs> 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 there's this water. Water. There's this water. That's Pennsylvania for water. That's, yeah, that's East Coast for water. How the fuck do you forget? You you have one job, two towels. How do you forget that? Towels. Fucking bitch. <laughs> but I love her. <laughs> she had one job and she claims she didn't sign up for it. I did not sign. You signed me up for bitch, it. Bitch, you're my fucking girlfriend. What I do? How many things have you forgotten? I was on drugs. I just told you a story. I have an excuse. Forgot. I was on drugs. Okay. That's a good excuse. What's your retort? You were sober as a fucking Same thing. deer. I thought you were supposed to take her out to a steak dinner. Yeah, where's my steak dinner? <laughs> yeah, let's away from your Ruth Chris dinner, bitch. You and me Ruth, Ruth Chris. Chris. You've been away in Baltimore, dude. Well, I'm here now. Why would I take you to Ruth Chris? Because we made a bet. Why does he deserve it? Yeah, exactly. Dude, you your that, life partner. That was like five years ago you made that bet. Oh, fuck you, Fry. Why don't you make it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna fuck you. He it's didn't. Disgusting. He fucking said there was no Ruth Chris in California, and I found one. <laughs> I googled it and found one, and now <laughs> you he owes me. It. You're you googling shit. It? Yeah, go yeah. You don't know how to Google. I googled lying to. <laughs> I googled a lamb the other night. <laughs> I'll Google your mom, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Find out all the dirt. So do you, do you feel sick from falling in the river? Yeah, I was as soon as I went in and came out, I started coughing. So I already have like a week off my first week starting that job, all right? And then you were you were soaking wet, so we made you sit in the back of the trailer because we didn't want you to get in the Hummer and wet the whole thing. So I got equally, I got I got more sicker riding right, in the back than I did get going into the river. I got blow dry by negative forty degrees of weather, and it's really negative. Well, it's like thirty degrees, so like it dropped. Would you do it again? Just make sure my job's secure. Uh, would you rather do that or a Jersey Turnpike? I'd do a Jersey Turnpike as long as it requires staying warm. But if if you did a Jersey Turnpike, if you don't know what it, that is, what is I don't know what it is. It's when you mop up the the <laughs> dirty. It's, it's when you mop up the dirty bar with a towel and squeeze it into a shot glass with some uh, tequila or some shit. But I'm gonna put like ashes in it as well. That's my Maybe some Tabasco man. sauce. <laughs> it's just breakfast. I'd rather do that any day than what the fuck I did. What about, what about a little hunk of piss? doesn't matter, His grocery man. list. That's his grocery list. I did way worse for way less, so fuck, man. Sign me up. But anything but that river, man. That was a complete nightmare. Well, at least you probably maybe got the job. Probably, maybe. I think you emphasize maybe in there. If I don't have that job, dude, I don't... I don't I, I'm probably gonna... You're not gonna be my life partner anymore. I can assure this. That what? What can you assure? That when when we interview girls from the Westchester University about who can work at the bar, you can be the other the judge. Room? No, you can be the other judge, and I'll give you some paychecks. <laughs> so, what, what is, what's my? I want a, I want a yearly salary, so I can tell my mom. <laughs> yeah, but th then you skip town and go to Baltimore and fuck all up. I'll fuck all up here. I'll just stay here and fuck no. up. <laughs> that can't happen. Why not, Miss? You can't even. You'll handle be living the at the golf club ap apartments. Will you buy me an apartment? No. Go back to Baltimore. Yeah. Come visit. Bro. I work here now. I Stay got a Baltimore. job. I kind of need no, him don't. around because, because he's here. going in the brandy wine and shit and it, it kind of entertains me. He can come me. up and stay for a few days. I got a job here. I'm required to be home. here now. Your, ho a, your my home. My zip code and everything changed after today. <laughs> your home is where your heart is <laughs> yeah. and your heart's in Baltimore. <laughs> I'm from that Tell place. that to your probation officer. Yeah, yeah you can't. Easy. It, when you go to Baltimore, you just know where to go and you screw it all up. Around yeah. here, it's too hard to find. No, That's you know, why I need hot water in my shower, and I'm going to live here now. You're not living here. Why not? He's not living here. Why? He's not. He's, He's entertainment. <laughs> He's not the buck stops here. moving back in. The buck stops here, bam. <laughs> why not, <laughs> come and hang out. <laughs> Let's no, see who wears the dick in this relationship, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know how much shit gets done when Novak's here? <laughs> really? Is that a rhetorical because question? Because if, if, even if he's living in Westchester, I gotta go pick him up, I gotta go drive him to the Brandywine. Tell like, him to when get he a wakes fucking up, car. Oh, no. I'll don't. just drive your Mercedes, <laughs> babe. Whammy. He never <laughs> stopped him before. Whammy. He went to jail for not having a license. You know? <laughs> On the I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. On, <laughs> On the 12 days of New back when you home came to me. <laughs> Five zany bars, four dirty needles, three smokes, left two back to bug, and I lost Ben's brand new watch. That fucking watch. <laughs> I'm sick of that fucking watch. <laughs> God, yeah, no I'm not. It was ten thousand bucks. I was on life support. I got. I robbed. don't care. I got robbed because you were on fucking pills. But I got robbed. It doesn't you matter why you're robbed because you were on pills. If you weren't on pills, you wouldn't be passed down the fucking alley, and somebody wouldn't have beat you up and took it. I was on life. Your best friend was on life support over that guy. I don't care. Watch. I could have died over that watch. You shouldn't have been on pills. True. But See, you admit it. Well, I shouldn't have been. Yeah, you're right. I'm still feeling a little shaky. Should have got there. more money for it. 
Yeah, I didn't off. even pawn the bitch. I didn't even make a <laughs> dollar off it. I swear to God. You'll never know the truth. I know. <laughs> Ask Mandy. She knows the truth. Well, you, I, she I was you, there she wasn't high there. On the side of the road with you? No, but you know you saw me in the hospital and, the, and I they but had. But I that, don't. I wasn't there when the watch went missing. Bitch, you're on my side. <laughs> what, bitch? You're <laughs> fucking with me. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's just a. You're, you're a trying to make her so agree to agree. Yeah, because she knows. You. She wasn't there, dude. But she saw the fucking tube all the way down my throat. But and, that doesn't but mean that, that doesn't... I was there when the watch went through. Yeah, idiot. Fuck. You should have got more money for it. You would have been bringing her I'm down. Not st I didn't <laughs> say a word. I don't stutter. I didn't steal the watch. You're cheesing though, aren't you? I didn't sell the watch. You're I didn't steal the watch. Right Someone has the watch in Baltimore City. And if you have it, please return it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is long gone. Give me a prison push, Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Hey, let's take some calls. Who we got? Who we? Uh, Samantha. Samantha PA. PA. Awesome. Is Hi. Everybody's from PA. Hello. Hey. Hi. Nice. I called last week, actually. Yeah. Yeah. For, What's going funny. on? Everybody keeps getting through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing much. Anything changed from last week? We're doing the show for you, three fifteen-year-old girls. <laughs> you, know, you said you weren't going to call, so you. Uh, <laughs> Sarah. Call you what is it? Samantha. Wasn't it her birthday it's last Samantha. week. Samantha. We sing you happy birthday. Is it yeah. your birthday again? Yeah, it was her birthday. Happy birthday. You're getting old quick. <laughs> um, <laughs> you better get a career lockdown. What are you um, doing with your life? Long time no talk. Do you have insurance? <laughs> oh, you too, man? What um, do you think? Did you dial 877 porn bag to get in touch here? Let her ask a question. <laughs> I know. Let's let her ask a question first. <laughs> okay. I'm going down to Westchester this summer, right? Right. So I get to college because I'm applying there. Oh, no. And, um... I was wondering, what's, what is there to do? Because I'm going to be there, like, for a week. Drink and fuck. Uh, uh, are you 21? No. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> there's not really much to do in Westchester. Um, you could, <laughs> same shit as all, every place, see a movie and go bowling. That's it. Yeah, you kind of have to make your own shit to do. Like, last you night, me and Novak, we went kayaking down the Brandywine at in the, in, in, in midnight. Yeah, it like was rad. in the morning. It was, yeah. it was Where weird. I live, I don't even have oh, a movie sorry. theater around here, so anything's, you know. We don't have any bowling alleys here either, so don't <laughs> listen to his fucking bowling alley. <laughs> Let's just the parties, but you sound like you're underage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's serious. That's Come on. Never so fuck you on. Sunny oh. days. <laughs> <laughs> I also wanted to wish you guys, um... Happy Easter and Happy St. Pat's Day. Ah, so. oh, you too, babe. It is St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> it is. Happy St. Patty's. Yeah, there's only like minimum. Oh, shit. And I'm trying not to drink, but I do <laughs> have a Budweiser right now. Day. And <laughs> Crown Royal. <laughs> <laughs> but I just started, so don't worry about it. I'm Darrell. Okay. Everyone does. Even Sweetheart's hey, got a great right, shirt Samantha, on. Anything else? Uh, <laughs> <All> right, <laughs> we'll talk to you next later. week. Take care next week. <laughs> uh, who else is on the line? <laughs> Let's get someone different here, uh, New York. Yeah, who do we got? Chris. Chris from where is he from? Is it, there's a disembodied voice that tells us who's Let's see what Chris has to say. Chris from California. <laughs> Give us a Chris kiss. Hi, Chris. <laughs> I'm waiting. Go, yo. Hey, this is Chris. All right, nothing Hi, left for him. Cal Anybody else from California? Hi, I'm Chris. That's what people from California have to say. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> That was pretty fucking good. Alright, never mind. Hang okay. Right, Dylan in Nova Scotia. Dylan. Dylan in Nova Scotia. You like that place, Where's man? Nova Scotia? Uh, it's Canada, Canada up north. Is that where you get locks, Nessie? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Missy. Alright. What up, Nova Scotia? Yo, Bam. Yo, what's up? Yo. What's going on? How you doing? Good. Uh, I was just gonna ask, uh, have you ever actually been down to Nova Scotia before? Yeah, I, I actually, uh... Like an idiot, I didn't get a map, and I drove to Montreal thinking that Nova Scotia was close, but uh, Canada laughed at me and said, you're an idiot, you're 13 hours out of the way. So then I drove through Maine on Route 26, and then uh, and then I took that cat, the, um, the yeah. ferry thing, to Halifax. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, have you ever been to Yarmouth, Nova Scotia? Uh, I don't think so. What's the punchline? All right, uh, my mom... I think it was last year, my mom uh, went up there and she was in a superstore grocery store and she called up freaking out because she seen a Bam Margera, like, look-alike. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of those. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. definitely Bam. Don Vito hangs out with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with <Names>. them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I just right. like to say, uh, you're my idol. Uh, I've always liked it since I've seen Jackass back in the day and uh, you're the reason I got into filmmaking and awesome that I get to talk to you. Oh, thanks a lot, man. Yep. Right, take it easy. See, the problem, Bam, is 
wherever he is in any different state, if he's completely lost, he refuses to ask for directions. Why is that? Why can't you take directions from someone else? Because I'm a guy. Man don't eat quiche. Guys don't take directions. Like Missy's always like, why don't you just stop and answer? But no, I, I know where I'm going. I, I know where I'm going. Why? What's it a pride thing? Yeah. Kind of. Thing? But you it's, never know where you're going. You don't know. Hey, I hit the crown royal before you did. <laughs> we go the Uh-oh. longest ways possible. Oh, wait, no, it took us two extra hours to get to your house. I know. Selena. You two guys hours. have a navigation. I've been to New Hope like at least 20 times and I still fuck up getting there. It's insane. You should plug I've your navigation. Every time I'm like, dude, just pull over and ask. He's like, no. I'm like, why? And then we think the navigation's like not telling us the truth. So we're like, oh, no, no, no. That can't be right. Let's go this way instead. And I, I co-sign with him. Like, I was going to yeah, say, you're right, smart, babe. Missy. You should know that it's telling the truth. But I, I don't want to hurt his pride. So I just let him drive yeah. however he wants. I don't I mean, Now, see, bitch. That's what you should do. You don't drive, so shut up. But when I do uh, other situations, if I'm not sure, you should back me. When I finally get some money, I'm going to get one of those Bentleys, one of those fake Bentley Chrysler. Yeah, I am. My partner knows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying one. Figure speech, baby. No towels. Okay. Yeah, give me that prison push, Kev. Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> give me that prison push, Kevin! <laughs> 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 Fucking prison push. Uh, hey, speaking of Kevin and, and all this fighting, uh, actually, Phil got into oh, a shit. boxing match. Um, it was like an ESPN event. And it was like a celebrity boxing match, and Danny Bonaducci was there. <laughs> Danny Bonaducci. Oh, uh, it was. Oh, uh, yeah. And Phil actually won, and he he was so nervous because it was like this six foot two black dude, and and he, he was, was a big guy. The guy he actually called guy. his name like James. I hate Jackass Jones or some shit. So you hate him. That was his. Na- yeah, the guy was like super pissed. And um, let's call up Phil right now. Dude, the Phil same promoter. Yeah, speakerphone on this. We have. I'll call Maybe Phil should Phil. call His 877 s- porn bag. 610 299. I can't. Dude, Phil did a great job, though. We were all proud of him. Blew him. He gave him two for one and twice as hard the whole time. And me and Novak got a side bet. Yeah, and you still owe me, bitch. I love that. You're paying up. No, 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 no. Phil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Shh. Phil. I just saw the be- You calling Phil? Phil, you there? You know what? This, this iPhone sucks. I'm going to call you from New York, all right? The speaker's down there. Oh, that's oh that, that actually it sounds better, yeah. <laughs> Messy okay, okay. Phil, uh, how do you feel about winning that fight? I feel amazed. Are yeah, you, are you, are you going to train uh, even even more now? Yeah, because that fight was only four weeks training, and uh, that guy wasn't a boxer, he was a pro wrestler, so uh, I was scared. Bill, it's Buddy Bill here, dude. I drank uh, four Miller, five Miller Lights before. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, he can hear you. I drank five Miller Lights the night before my fight. It was the same bo- boxing fools. You, you just and, get and, up and there and, and go. Riot you're addicted happened. now. Tell me you're addicted. Yeah, yeah, the adrenaline is all to me to win, so uh, I'll be addicted until I lose. It's like drugs. <laughs> so when's your next fight? I have to make arrangements. There's one in Wildwood in August I might do. Yeah. Don't yeah. don't you fight the guy from The Sopranos? Big pussy. Oh, he's trying to get a TV show that leads to uh, boxing that Vito from Sopranos, but that you guy know, won't do it unless it's big, huge money. So, um, you know that guy got that fight right now. On the TV show, that guy was gay. He was in the truck giving some other guy a blowjob. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to beat up on uh, national. Ah, so what if you get beat up by him, Phil? Oh, oh, Phil, you cannot get beat up by him. Right? I ain't trying. So Phil, what, what were you thinking when you're trying to get all angry? Were you thinking yeah. about the Chester Rumble? <laughs> no, I was too nervous. The mouthpiece, I thought I was gonna gag on it, and then uh, the headgear. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he, I saw him start the first round. I said, "This ain't ending this quick." And then I did get a little angry. So, That's uh, the fuck I'm talking about. Yo, Phil, it's I funny though. The second round, I think, then the third round was pretty even by the end. Yo, I was supposed to fight at the same night. The guy's been calling me, um, Tyler Smallwood and Dave, for the last month and a half, and I, I, I fucked my knee up, so I couldn't fight. I would have fought the same night as you. What? What? It was ten fights, so you probably would have been one of them if your knee was good. I didn't, I didn't return his phone calls, man. I fucking fucked my knee up, but I yeah, want right. to fight again. You ready, Phil? <laughs> you ready? I'm going to work out another one, yeah. You, right, ha- you have to it. fight. You need to fight fat people who are who are kind of um, not up to par, kind of like you, Phil. <laughs> I know. I was scared yeah. too. You can't fight people in shape, Phil. You need to fight people who are up. Fair fight. Yeah, fair fight. Exactly. See, 
you should have made friends with him, Phil. Meatball yeah, you made friends with him. Or meatball number two. <laughs> no. Not before the fight. After the fight, yeah. All right, Phil. Well, you know, my, my uh, trainer's a genius. You know what he said? What? Hey, right before the fight, he says, you know what? I've been training him. You better protect your, your ribs or you'll be, uh, your kidneys and all because you'll be spitting blood for a week. Phil, did so you do that? Point, if you notice, his elbows went down his kidneys. That's why I did that roundhouse overhand punch. I knew it. Oh! Did he do the growl? Fucking roundhouse. Phil, did you do the growl? Let me hear the growl. I didn't do the growl, but I, uh, I, I didn't need it that day. But I'll... Let, let's hear the growl, Phil. That's the key. Uh, what the growl for Chester, the rumble? The Get the rumble. Yeah. Everybody. Sh All right. That's says, He gets hit with a, in the head with a coat on. He says, "Do it, Phil. Let's get the hell out of here." I says. <laughs> 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 so bad. All right, Phil. Take it easy. We're gonna go. I'm gonna play a song. Congratulations, Phil. Yeah, it was right. cool. Good job, Phil. Awesome. Congratulations. Keep training. Good job, Phil. Get skinny and keep training. Congratulations. Quit, eat, quit eating them Philly cheesesteaks, fat boy. And and the worst the worst part was when Phil won. That this was he, he grabbed the mic and he stood apologizing right away. He's like, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, I've been training for two weeks. Like, don't even let him know, Phil. Just fucking keep on with the winning. That's what I do. All right, here we go. This is Suburban Prince's Death Song by Turbo Negro. Early shit. Radio Bam Series 28 Faction. Yeah. And now back to Radio Bam. Dang. On. How the fuck do you say it? Is it serious? Yeah. <laughs> on Serious 28 <laughs> Faction. All right, Biatches, we're back. Turbo Negro. And, that song uh, was brilliant. Here with Novak, Buddy Bill. Franz, Chad I. Ginsburg, and uh, my, my uncle Kevin and uh, little they, Kevin they just left. left. We yeah. got Sweetheart over there. Did you see Sweetheart with his nice green St. Patrick sweater on? What's Sweetheart, that Sweetheart? Sweetheart, Sweetheart, Joe Banger, St. Patrick's uh, faggot sweater. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kurt Cobain's sweater. No, I like Irish. Kurt Cobain. I, I do. I do. I do. I, uh, you love dead junkies. <laughs> I do. Junkies the best green shirt was fucking um, Jailboy. His fucking, he's what got the a green fuck are you talking about, of buddy, tits though? with green. Did you see his shirt? You're messing my head up. Stop mumbling. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. No, Didn't Boy you just get out of jail, too? Yeah, what the, yeah uh, he's got some papers in his pocket he uh, wanted to show us. Let's see these papers. How long were you in jail for? Not two years, right? Fuck no. Shit, I wouldn't be alive if I did two years. <laughs> Buddy Bill, did you ever cry in jail? Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Imagine that, motherfucker. Look at me again and say, I, I'm just I'll curious. Come over to Not, I can't right see here. you behind the thing. You want to see some reasons why I was in jail? Put that mic up. I can't hear you. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> I just said put the mic Let's up. Let's see the papers. Ah, Let's talk to you. Now, who can read in this? Well, not you. Uh, Fuck this bitch. Missy can read. Okay. Mandy, yeah, okay. Missy or Mandy. Mandy, you can read, right? <laughs> now, Mandy. Okay, now here's a couple um, warrants that um, I actually You're had to go to jail run? for. Now, if you can go down and look at the date here, the year, and then at the top of this list of numbers is what the warrant started out as. Well, it looks like July of 2000. Who's talking? Mm -hmm. You were, you were arrested for an unregistered vehicle and the fine started at 62 cents no 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 that was what was left over from the no it was a bigger but that's well, what that's, that's what, what the it warrant. started as when you got to jail it's a warrant paper that it's a warrant it's from, four years old it says fourth time warrant. No, fourth time warrant i've done jail time on it twice and i paid it off twice and it is 62 cents they reissued a warrant and jumped constable fees up jail for a traffic citation a parking ticket. Oh, that was a that one was. Well, the was reason for warrant was failure to like, pay. I didn't pay off their sixty-two cents. Where the fuck they? What? Why didn't I have sixty-two cents? I fucking run out to the car. No, Mac. What about? And, okay, no. This is the next one. If you can look at that one, sweetie. Um, Don't talk parts to my girlfriend eight, like that. This is O three parts eight a.m. to eleven a.m. Illegal. It's a parking ticket. Dollar sixteen fine. No. A dollar six fucking teen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the shit. But it got to one hundred ninety-eight, ninety-two. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is fucking from the year two thousand two. Oh, 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 no, dude. Ooh, hey, you hey, want to break someone, right? Hain That's actually. What I like to do. Hain is my neighbor, and he, and uh, we usually go kayaking right to his house, and we did last night, and. And Novak knocks on the door and goes, "What did you say?" Uh, I I went up and we had docked our fucking um our kayak under his house, and I knocked on the door. I'm like, oh, uh, knock, he doesn't answer. And then he comes to the door like 10 minutes later. I knew he was up to something no good. I'm like, it's the police, open up. 
He's like, are you serious for what? I'm like, we have a warrant for your arrest. Now open up immediately. Faggot. <laughs> and me and Matt start laughing. But he's like, are you serious? Dead serious. Yeah. Like, he, he's like hiding all of his booze and stuff. Like, And then he lets us in the house. And he's like, dude, I just got a letter in the mail saying that I have a warrant. <laughs> like, the same day he had a warrant, we just decided to go impersonate police officers that night and say, come out, we have a warrant for your arrest. Dude, on the warrants, my phone number is on there. They could have called me if I owed them 62 fucking cents. You hear 62? me? Why the they fuck? They never even we... fucking called me. Who That's cares? worthless, Who buddy, Bill. Who cares about 62 dude, cents? I look, can't believe you went to me. jail for that. Dude, it's fucking... I brought the goddamn... Dude, the, the third one is $9 and fucking 17 cents right the fuck here. Look Why like, don't you pay them worthless fines, Bill? Dude, like I don't pay off 62 fucking cents from the year 2000. I've done jail didn't. time over... We got the paperwork. Obviously, you didn't pay the fine. You, you are correct. <laughs> yeah, so, why didn't you pay so how much time, Don't look at me. How much time did you do, buddy, Bo? Ten days. Did you get fucked? Well, there was a couple other tickets. There were seven all together, but we'll just get into these ones Jesus right Christ. now. Damn, man. Easy. Everybody you know goes to jail. Yo, but I'm clear as shit. Yo, yo <sighs> my I, I want to say Chester. this first. Yo, for any coppers listening, I, I took my bike out of the shop tonight. Got cop the right here. We got a cop in the house. Go yeah, ahead, tell him face to face. You got the police car. your badge, motherfucker. I, I, I he's got, not the I, cop. He's not, and Conjar's not the cop, dipshit. <laughs> it's Maybe his buddy. Hey, well, I'm going to say this. If Dave, if you're at the shop listening right now, uh, yeah, my, my plate's um, Don't 307 on my motorcycle. I drove it out here to fix the carburetor last night. Floated out down the country road. Now, I'll try and pull me my ass over. I got a little short distance to go, otherwise, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Illegal. Uh, you drive with the side mirrors, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you're just admitting that you're illegally driving right now. Right fuck now. you. It'll be, it'll be registered by fucking Thursday. But it's not registered today. It's 307. Does anybody have a call for Buddy Bill? <laughs> oh, no, it's on. I might have to leave early. It's <laughs> on. Oh, and um, it's, I'm Irish, and um, you know what day it is, so fucking get it right. Oops, just burying my own hole. Drink, dumping. Uh, I'm dumping. Hey, Let hey, me get my shovel real I'm fast. dumping a um, a half beer into my. Oops, tipping off fool. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got a fucking oh, velvet no. bag of. Buddy Bill's Crown drinking some Crown Royal right, right now. Right out of the bottle. Yo, it's not even chill. No it's St. Patrick's Day. Out of jail. Yeah, it's Act Patrick's like Day. I'm going to fucking pull over when I see some lights on my bike. Is that I'm why it's so up. crazy here at the house yes. today? Yo, yeah. I'll slow down for the fucking deer, but I have I about 30 people. Now. Yeah. 30 people at the house right now. It's hard to do a radio show with 30 people in the room talking about random shit amongst themselves. Yeah, it, it, it is kind of hard. <laughs> totally hard. And as a matter of fuck fact, let's cut to a face. song so I can get my head straight. Seriously. This is Plasmatics Dang. called Master Plan. And if you don't know about Wendy O. Williams, then you fucking should. Radio Bamford Series 28. Faction. Faction. Yeah, fucking faction. To the graphic nature of this, check this out. program. You need to come check this out, man. Say hello to everyone. Hello to everyone. Can I talk? Yeah, what's up, everyone? I didn't know you were recording this shit. <laughs> it's, like, well, it's on. It's on the radio channel now. Nah. Yeah. Fucking kidding me. Can't say that. I'm sorry. Serious 28 faction. All right, trying to calm down right now. There's a lot of people at the house. And I think we have it in order right now, though. Er yeah, but everybody's like talking over me and stuff. And uh, and I I did do a, a, a skate video with Chris Cole, and uh, we we've been skating the park. And Carrie gets as well. And um, elementskateboards.com has that up right now. I think they just put it up. You've been killing but, it. Are you going to do the Tampa contest? Uh, I think so. I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I don't think anything could go wrong with me going there. There's nothing negative that can come out of that, really. It really isn't. Any way you look at it, you're going to make out. Even yeah. if you fucking fuck up, you're going to make out. Even with it's a dude. <laughs> But, you gotta uh, make out with him. Carrie talked me into it. I mean, I've been skating the park every day, and uh, I believe in you. I'm I'm feeling pretty consistent, so why not? Fuck off, Franz. What are you laughing? I didn't at? say a fucking thing. Why are you laughing when I said I believed in him? You don't believe in him? Right. Say it, pussy. <laughs> yeah, Franz is working, dude. He's got a camera. We gonna take any calls? Yeah. Uh, somebody wants to talk about the jackass takeover. Caitlin, she kind of talked about that. <laughs> dude, what do we got? A phone connected directly to these kids' houses? Shit. Okay, Caitlin, go ahead. How are you, babe? I'm good. I talked to you guys last week. Remember me? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I was talking to Dream Seller. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's right here. You're, th you're 13, right? Yep, 13. Yeah, cool. <laughs> hey, how's it going? So what's, what's your question? 
Um, yeah, um, after I got up to play with you guys that night, about, like, 11 o'clock, I was watching TV, and on Jackass 24-hour takeover, like, it was Worst Moments or something like that. I know. And, um, yeah, I saw Preston throw soda in your face or something, and then you got all ticked off and you punched him, and then you walked into another room and, like, locked the door. Yeah, well... I was up for uh, 24 hours because we were filming nonstop, and he put this, like, mint chewing tobacco in my eye, and it was, like, worse than mace. And uh, I was just already tired and over the whole thing, so I went up and punched him in the face, and then then uh, I locked the door in he my wasn't mad, dressing room. No, 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 he kind of felt bad for doing it. Like, if you punch somebody in the face with, like, a, if you're laughing versus if you have, like, a serious, I'm pissed off face, doesn't that make the whole difference? But I was pissed off. All right. Uh, Preston yeah, always does that. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I watched Jackass 2.5, I think it was yesterday, and then I saw Preston push you down in that porta potty. Oh. Yeah, and I, but I, I did the, uh, the muscle clamp to his arm. And he got all pissed off at that, and that's why he was getting even. No, I was getting even because he did that, actually. Even Steven. And he forgot that. that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even I don't Steven know. It's really real. hectic here. No, nah, it's not. I, I, I like the butt feed ass type. <laughs> I like that shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't like oh. that one at all. <laughs> you like the, you like the beat ass kite, Caitlin? Huh? What about it did you like? I just thought it was really funny. You said, um, I lost all my fans, but I only have, I gained four in like, and, um, Key I don't West. Know, Florida or something. Yeah. That's the gayest still town. Have, yeah. Key West is. Yeah, yeah. You still have me. All right. Thanks, Thanks for calling, Caitlin. God bless America, Caitlin. <laughs> I just lost all my fans doing this, but I gained four in Key West. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a little bit of time left, five minutes until um, the uh, flogging Molly spate. Oh, the flogging Molly special that's coming up. Yep. Matt Hensley uh, was really? sponsored yeah. by H Street back in the day, and I looked up to him big time. And now he plays accordion in Flogging Molly, so that's pretty rad. They're coming up next. Why are you doing that? Does he skate know. anymore? <laughs> flogging. Is Molly. he still skating? I don't think so. I don't know. We Maybe toured with him in '99. Uh, was it good? You know, we were on the vocal stage. Okay, I was on the vocal stage, and Flogging Molly was right next to us. Hensley was on bass, bass, mm -hmm. right? No oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, Matt Hensley. He's been touring for a lot. He of years. was the man. The first time I still I, is the man. He's taking over the radio show. We get the fuck off the air because of this. <laughs> yeah. The first time I went to California, I stayed at his house. Really? Yeah. How'd that come? Because you used to ride Raid Street. Yeah, because his uh, his brother Chris Hensley um, was living with him, so he picks me up at the airport. I go right to this house, and I'm like, holy. fuck fuck Matt Hensley's here what the hell he's like I am his brother I'm like I just thought it was a coincidence yeah. what the hell it was so you, weird you, that was your first pro model through H-Tree right yeah uh, evil they changed the name okay. E-V-O-L you got some custom boards out right now don't you they look different what with Element yeah you got new boards yeah Kat Von D did three Yo, graphics Ron. Jesus Christ and you Ron. call yourself pro there's like, shit everywhere I'm so trying to film fucking Marlowe <laughs> Marlowe <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you want to take one more call, Ben? You want to take another call before we leave? Back. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's take another call. Isaac in Texas. Uh, mm. Hey, what's up? Yo, what's going on? Uh, hey, man, you know how you said Novak was getting that job? Or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hired. If I, if, I, nah, if I was you, Ben, get that jersey, whatever crap, get some cow sperm and fucking ass hairs and let them drink that shit. Oh, in the Jersey Turnpike? Hell yeah. That's a good idea. But yeah, I don't know like if we could show that on TV. So he might be drinking stuff that people don't even get to watch, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah it sucks, man. <laughs> what are you doing right now in Texas? Because that place blows. <laughs> well, that's, right that's now. because you got arrested Because well, I went to jail there, and I couldn't find so drugs. So Novak? Yeah. Right now, I'm working on the skate park here in Seagrave, so, you know. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's, at, least, uh, at least it's active. I mean, I wasn't really uh, skating when I was there. I was just more on the party tip. Seagrave's? Seagrave's? A small ass know. asshole town. Are you from Texas? Yeah, I'm from Texas. I'm a fucking gay ass town called Seagrave. From Texas <laughs> yeah, Ben, if y'all come over, you know, anywhere in Texas, dude, y'all more welcome to stay at my house. Fuck, you know? All right, we're coming. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Come on. Well just tell everybody that. I, I know. I imitating Texas, this Texas cop. After oh, no, jail. no, where's no bad? I'm here. What's up, buddy? Hey, you know what? You come over to Novak. You're like a real good friend to me, so. Oh, my man. Thank you. I Have you guys that. ever met? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, 
Yeah, yeah, well, my number, I'll give it to Novak, so when y'all come down, just come over. I know what it is, six. Put, put it on the uh, email. Yeah, I'll call Email. <laughs> uh, what, what email? Uh, uh, give him prison the, push. What is it, serious-radio.com? Damn it. Oh, well, do y'all want my email? I'll just give y'all email. My email, y'all can just... Oh, you got my space, damn. So. Bam at serious-radio.com. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah, all right. Oh, all right. yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You know that Chinese, uh, what's it called, rap you did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I played that at the last thing, dude. That was my favorite right there, man. That's awesome. Oh, thanks. You could thank D. Camello for that. Last week. Oh, yeah. Well, and me. Oh. Yeah, and, and Chad for doing the beat. Oh. The music. Oh, uh, well, just Tim play that deal for me, please. All right. All right. Yeah, come on. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks, Carl, from Texas. Oh, probably, oh, probably, probably fat. <laughs> so, uh, All right, we have two minutes left, so I'm going to end up playing a song. This is uh, Lacrimus Profound, straight from Austria, and... That's where my first girl was from, dude. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for Buddy that. Buddy Bill's on Crown Roll. <laughs> Who gave him the yeah. bottle? <laughs> All right, enjoy your St. Paddy's Day. Bobby. Yeah. Things Big are a little wild here at the yeah. Margera household. Yeah, there's 30 people here, and that, right. that hasn't happened in, like, a year. <laughs> well, St. Patrick's Day, so... Yeah, yeah, let's fucking goddamn have our own little party. Yeah. Serious Faction 28, right. Radio Bam. Like yep. You party, we party. Hey, we're, we're done. done. Tune in next week for more. You can leave now. It's Radio Bam. Radio Bam every Monday. Seven, four, seven, Radio Bam every Monday, seven Eastern, four Pacific. Email me now at Radio Bam. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Bam at serious-radio.com. Call Radio Bam at eight seven seven porn bag. That's eight seven seven porn bag. Sweet dreams, peepod. Bye everybody. See you next week. On Serious Twenty Eight Faction. Hey, how's it going?